So the whole yogic system is focused on this. There is some simple technology with which you can keep your mind in a certain condition of clarity. Then you don't have to worry about mental focus, that's where the mind will be. Wherever your desire is, that's where your mind is, isn't it? Isn't it so? How do you say this in Hindi? Wherever your desire is, that's where your mind is, isn't it? What's desire? Icha. So wherever your desire is, that's where your mind will be. If you desire something intensely, your mind will be always there. Right, right now you desire the cup, wrong place to be. You desire a goal, that's what you should desire when you're on the field, isn't it? Now you can desire the cup, but once you're on the field, you just desire the goal and goal and goal, nothing else. Once your desire is strong, your body and mind naturally moves in that direction, isn't it? Whatever you desire, that's where you go. If your desire falls off, then you can't keep the mind on it. You just have to develop the Icha in you. But the only Icha is to score the goal. Then you don't have to worry about mental focus, that's where the mind will be. Can somebody take your mind off what you desire? Can somebody take your mind off what you desire? What you desire is where your mind will naturally go, isn't it? So how does yoga help in this? See, what are the simple parameters with which the body and mind is functioning? This is a complex machinery. This is the most sophisticated machine in this planet is human body and mind, isn't it? Everything that we have created has come out of this mind. So this mind is a complex machinery, very complex. So if you do anything wrong, it will create many distractions within itself. There are certain simple ways, there is some simple technology with which you can keep your mind in a certain condition of clarity where it simply sees that you learn to keep your mind like a mirror, it simply shows you what is there, it doesn't distort. The moment your mind gets identified with many things, now you are playing as an Indian hockey player, now you get all distorted because now you're reading the whole history, the glory of Indian hockey, the depths of Indian hockey, everything will flow in your mind. Now you will not play the game. You will not see the game the way it is, first of all. Learning to keep the mind like a mirror where it simply shows you what is there in front of you without any distortion. Once there is no distortion, you will walk to the best of your ability, isn't it? You're walking on this floor, there is no distortion in your vision, you can see everything clearly. To the best of your ability you will go, isn't it? In your very vision if there is distortion, you will unnecessarily stumble all over the place. So whatever talent you have, whatever capability you have, if it has to find full expression, your mind doesn't come in between and distort anything, it just shows you everything the way it is. So the whole yogic system is focused on this for a spiritual purpose which can also be used for the sport, that it shows you everything just the way it is, not some other way, not the way you think it is.